Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Check back each weekday at 10 a.m. to learn more about a work from the Cincinnati Art Museum collection. I'm Sarah Burkhofer, the Manager of Accessibility and Gallery Programs, and today I'd like to talk with you about Kevin Harris's lithography print called Walk Down Vine Street, made in 1988. I've always loved this print because it shares a really interesting local history of a beloved neighborhood over the Rhine. I love comparing this work to what over the Rhine and Vine Street look like today. This black and white lithography print is 18 by 26 inches. It shows a bustling view of Vine Street near Liberty Street, looking toward the downtown area. We see crowds on the sidewalks and cars and cyclists streaming down the busy street. There are bright lights, people shouting out windows and leaning into cars. It was made by Kevin Harris, an artist and professor who worked in Cincinnati while teaching at Northern Kentucky University, the Art Academy of Cincinnati, and the University of Cincinnati, where he earned his master's in fine art. In 1988, when this piece was made, it was a time when Vine Street and Over the Rhine looked very different than it does today. Here's a picture of the same view taken in 2021. Compare and contrast these two images. What are the similarities between the lithograph and the photograph? What are the differences? This area of Cincinnati over the Rhine is a popular street that had crowds in the 80s and also does now, although the demographic of the people has changed drastically. Over the Rhine is among the largest, most intact urban historic districts in the United States. Since the 19th century, when the area was dubbed over the Rhine, it has been inhabited by many types of people and has had an ever-changing demographic. Another one of the differences you might notice is that the buildings are on the wrong side of the street. This strange aspect of the artwork makes me wonder, is this a product of the lithography process in which the sides might be reversed of the artwork? Or, so the artist changed the landscape of Over the Rhine to enhance his composition. Some of these buildings look the same, while others are completely different. In the print, we see Polar Cafe, Smitty's, a hoagie place, a chili place, a meet and eat, and Red Horse. We also see a paint store, which seems to be a pawn shop in Smitty's clothing store. What remains of these businesses? Until recent years, Smitty's and Kroger were still present on the block, and you could see the Polar Cafe sign. Now the only sign left in the contemporary picture is the paint sign, but notice it's on the other side of the street in the print. Most noticeable similarities between the print and the photograph of today are the building facades, which have been protected by historical landmark designation. We also now see many new restaurants that reflect the gentrification the area has undergone in the past decade. Harris's portrayal of Vine Street shows his interest in motion and architecture. He celebrates this neighborhood where he lived for a number of years. He records life in the community around him and seems to encourage others to do the same. I invite you to look up the history of Over the Rhine. It's a fascinating reflection of local history, immigration, and moreover, society's triumphs and pitfalls. Thanks for joining us for today's cam look. I hope that you are able to take a stroll down Vine Street soon and over the Rhine as well.